Hello guys, today we're going over, a, going over Y-Lock third grade level worksheet, lesson number one. We are trying to find the missing addend, which is the missing number. So right here, since we have a missing number right here, you, what we want to do is subtract. So you grab this number and subtract it by this number. So it will be 5 minus 1, that will be 4. Plug it in, double check your work, 1 plus 4, that's 5. Same thing here, 20 minus 9 equals 11. Plug it in, check your work, that's correct. 8 minus 8 minus 8, that's 0. Quick trick, if the if both of these numbers are the same, then that would always be 0. Which is right here. Number 11, you can see that it's 22 and 22 are the same, so it's 0. But you could double check your work by doing 22 minus 22, which is 0. And always make sure to double check, so you, make, you can make sure that's right. So 16 minus 9, that would be 7. Plug it in, double check your work, it's correct. 11 minus 7, that's 4. Plug it in, double check, correct. 21 minus 5, that's 16. Plug it in, double check your work, correct. 29 minus 13, that would be 16. Plug it in, double check your work, and that would be correct. Right here, 15 minus 11, that's 4. Plug it in, double check your work, correct. And by double check your work, I mean when you plug it in, like right here, you do 4 plus 11. And then in your head, and instead of looking at the answer, see what that is. 4 plus 11, that is 15. And then see what answers are here. If it matches, then that's correct. So right here, 18 minus 17, because this number comes always to the left. And this number is always on the right. That would be 1. And then boom, plug it in, double check your work. And then if it's correct, then you're good to go. Again, 19 on the left and 3 on the right. So then that will give me 16. Plug it in, double check your work. Correct. 24 minus 6 equals... um. 18 plug it in plug it in and then double check your work correct 14 minus 8 equals 6 plug it in double check your work and again that's what i did for these last two problems subtracted the equal by the number given Subtracted the equal by the number given and then the number I got I just um plugged it in and then after I plugged it in I just double checked my work and then it was correct So then I just gave it a little check mark. Oh, I put a little check mark next to it So then I don't have to come back and recheck my work later on Find the sum finding the sum is really easy as it's just over each other So then this is this is what I mean by it's really easy. Let me show you so right here What, what I like to do is just distribute them. So that's their own Addition and that's their own addition. So 4 plus 2 right here is 6. And 4 plus 2 right here, that's also 6. That's it. 66. That's your answer. But sometimes the number goes over 9. And then if it goes over 9, then it becomes a little complicated. So 8 plus 6 would be 14. So then instead of writing 14 down here, what you should do is bring only the 4 down because that's the second number. And then bring this 1 over this 5 right here. So then it, it just acts like an extra number acts as an extra number. So 1 plus 5, 6, plus 1 down here, 7. Answer is 74. 7 plus 4, or wait, sorry, saw that wrong. Um, 4 plus 4, 8. And 7 plus 1, that's also 8. So your answer is 8. 6 plus 3, I mean 6, 3 plus 9, that's 12. Bring the 2 down, bring the 1 over here. Acts as an extra number. 1 plus 6, that's 7. Plus one does eight. Five plus seven, that's twelve. So bring the two down, add the one up here. So one plus four, that's five, plus three, that's eight. Answer will be eighty-two. Six and two is eight, eight and one is nine. Ninety-eight is our answer. Nine right here, and right here, that would be ten. So we just bring it down because there's because if we do the zero thing, bring the zero down, right? Bring the zero down right here and add the one. It's just the same because these are just gonna act like zero, so that number is just gonna come down anyway. Um, this will be twelve and one, so twelve. So you bring this down because that's what eight plus four is. So that would be seven. Seven plus two, that's nine. So our answer is ninety-two. Find the difference using addition to check. It's the same exact thing, right? But this time we're just subtracting so so it would be 75 minus 2 that's 3 
and then 7 minus 3, that's 4. So your answer is 43. But check, uh, use addition to check means whatever this number is, we add it to this number so we can make sure we get this number, which is the same exact thing that we did at the first lesson. So it will be 43 plus 32, and it will be 75. So you could use this method for every single one to check your work if you're unsure. But if there's problems like this where this number is smaller than this number, you just take away from this number right here. This, which would just take away one number, so it would be 5. And then it would give us 10. And then with this 10, we add one number down here, which is 4, which will give us 14. So 14 minus 7, that's, that's going to be 7. And 5 minus 2, that's 3. Then right here, that's 6. And that's 4. Same thing down here. That will become 4. So it will become 18. And then that's 9. And that's 3. So 39. Boom, same thing. This would be a 6, this would be a 12, so then it's a 6, and that's a 3, so 36. Same thing, this would be 8, this would be 14, um, 6, and 4, 46. Same thing, 5 and 11, so 6 and 3, 36. Same thing, 7 and 17, that would be 8 and 4, 48. And you could just check your work again by doing 48 plus 39 that will be 17 so bring seven down at the one that's eight Boom. correct sarah has 45 stickers she buys 23 more stickers at the store but then she gives away 15 to her friend how many does she have left so she had 45 but then bought 23 more so you add these, then you get 8, and you add this, and you get 6. And then she gave away 15 to her friend. So 68 minus 15, we would get 3 and 5. So in total, she has 55, 53 stickers. Tom had 60 pencils, lost 18, but then found 20 more in his desk. How many does he have left? So 60 minus 18, this would be 5, this would be 10, this would be 2, and this would be 4. So what I just did right there was... 60 minus 18 what i did was i just took one number away because zero can't be subtracted by eight and then brought one number down and then added 10 to zero so that would just be 10 and 10 minus 8 that's two right here and then five minus one that's four right here so then 42 plus 25 because that's how much he found under his desk that's seven and that's six so 67 is how much he has left lily's birthday party there's 50 balloons um 17 of them pop so that means subtract by 17 but then 22 are added. So then 50 minus 17, same method. This would be 10. So 3 and 3. So then 33 plus 22. That's 55 balloons that are left. There's 85 books. 30 of them are checked out by students. So they lost 30. But then the teachers added 14. So 85 minus 30 would be 5. Because 5 subtracted by 0 is just 5. And then that's also 5. So then 55 subtracted by, I mean, added by 14, because that's how much the teachers added. And that's 9, and that's 6. So there is 69 books in total. Thank you for coming to my lesson. And if there's any uh, questions, just go over this lesson, pay attention again, and then just double-check your work.